it's check-in day. Before we leave to head to Orlando, just wanted to do a quick outfit of the day. So I'm wearing this little romper from Dells and this black sweater from Target. And then I'm going to put on the same sandals that I had on in the last video. They're just nude sandals from the shoe store in the mall. And that is it. We will update you on the trip. Hey, good morning. Disney character warehouse outlet because we want cheap shirts. Update, we found it, line but the line was long. eight years long Couldn't and I have it. 23 minutes until my check-in time. Oh, I thought you just so flag or something. We did not have time for that. We'll come back later. shopping we got some stuff for the apartment but we came to Walmart I just wanted to show you this beautiful view of the Orlando eye oh so nice okay we need a mattress topper we're hoping that they're not sold out because Target was and apparently the Walmart that is closest to DCP apartments is sold out so wish us luck I'll keep you updated. wondering what the Walmart near Disney looks like it's basically just a bunch Disney stuff all together. Okay. What is this? We found mattress toppers, maybe? Is that Home a twin? Mattress pad. Is that for a twin? Quarter inch. Twin slash twin XL. Oh, heck yeah. We did it. All right. Okay. We got all the goods. That's some meal prep food storage containers for salad stuff that I bought today. I have a mattress protector because palmetto bugs. And we got a memory foam mattress topper. So. We're out here at Walmart trying to fight the crowds. Chocolate. And Valentine's Day stuff was disgusting. 
it's January, put it all away. So we're crashing out at Walmart, and Bridget <laughs> decided that she was going to scan the mattress pad twice. So now we have to wait for assistance. This is great. Thanks for opening our hotel room door for me. It is Gerstaken! <laughs> we just spent 40 minutes trying to find this hotel. We still have to go back we to our apartment. To the hotel. And we can't get in the room. <sighs> okay. Update We made it inside, so here's a tour. This is the bathroom, mirror, two beds, microwave, fridge, closet, TV. Again, two beds. And look! at this view ah, the orlando eye is right there it's beautiful we did it we made it inside we how do you feel inside. i feel great just had to use the other key all right we're gonna go back to my apartment and finish making the bed and get Putting me all clothes. together okay we'll see you later Okay, bye Vista. It was nice unpacking you today. We're going to the hotel now, bye. Okay, so I was going through the footage from today. I realized that I didn't really film that much because things were just kind of crazy. So I just wanted to sit down and go over the check-in process and what kind of happened today. So my check-in time was at 12.30. It was a pretty late check-in. The first one's at eight. And we got to Vista, which is where I'm living, around 12.15. They tell you not to show up too early and not show up too late because things get kind of hectic. Um, but we showed up at 12.15. I got right in. I got my picture taken for my housing ID. Um, I got my parking decal and my program guide. Um, and then my little like lanyard thing and my key to my apartment. And we went over um, and we moved everything in. We got everything that needed to be inside, inside. So my car was finally clean for the first time in five days. It looked like, or it didn't look like there was a homeless person living in my car, which was nice. Um, and then we went to Target. I mentioned it briefly while we were at Walmart. We went in, picked up a few other things that I needed. I needed bags for my roommate gifts and then um, like groceries and different amenities. So we went and picked those up. We dropped them back off at my apartment and I went to casting. My casting was at four o'clock. Um, I got on the three o'clock bus. They recommend taking the bus rather than driving for your first couple of weeks, just so you can get used to being there early and what time you should be there and what your day should look like um, rather than relying on running late while driving, which is probably what would have happened if I had driven. Um, so we got to casting, we got right in at like 3.30. Um, and they take your picture for your blue ID, which is the ID that you use to get into the parks and from cast member discounts and that kind of thing. Um, and then they did fingerprints for background checks and you go upstairs and um, they look at your I-9 documentation. So they just looked at my passport, asked if I had any questions, got to know a few of the other people who were around and then we got on a bus and went back to Vista. Um, then my roommates and Bridget and I went to Disney Springs and we went to Chicken Guy for dinner. And then we got margaritas at the margarita stand near the Giardelli or the Giardelli chocolate store. Um, so we went and got margaritas and just kind of sat and talked and got to know each other a little bit more. Um, and then we went to Walmart because I needed a mattress topper and Target was sold out. And then from Walmart, we went to the wrong hotel and tried to check in at the wrong hotel. And then we got to the right hotel. Um, in DCP housing, you can't have guests overnight. They have to leave by 2 a.m. And I was not trying to get turned on my first day. Um, so we are staying at the Fairfield Inn and Suites at the convention center um, on Universal Boulevard for the night before Bridget flies back up north tomorrow. So sad. <laughs> But that is going to be all for my check-in day vlog, so hope you enjoy, and I'm sure I will see you the rest of the week.